if you want to start your motor starter with push button and stop with limit switch that means you can start your motor starter with push button and motor starter should stop when limit switch will operate and also if you want to stop your motor starter with push button so you can do and also in this control wiring if you want to start your motor starter with push button and limit switch operate so motor starter will stop okay now at that point if limit switch is in operating condition okay so motor starter will stop so how our motor will cross this limit switch okay for crossing motor to this limit switch you can run your motor starter manually okay now when you press start push button your motor will run normally and when limit switch operate so your motor will stop okay so i hope the clear the concept of this motor starter so let's start video and first understand which component is required for this control wiring so first we connect a motor starter in this motor starter we connect one contactor and one overload relay okay we connect one dual starter and we connect one stop push button in which we connect nc element one start push button in which we connect no element one limit switch okay when limit switch will operate our motor starter should stop and for load at place of motor we connect a cooling fan okay now let's start control wiring but before start control wiring first learn contactor basic concept okay in contactor we need to connect a phase and neutral to 20 volt supply to operate this contactor okay so we connect a neutral directly in this a2 terminal and phase will connect with controlling and connect in a1 terminal okay this is contactor power terminals in which motor connection will done this is contactor auxiliary contacts in which we have one no point and one nc point you can see here for controlling purpose and providing holding purpose okay first we connect input power supply in control mcb we connect neutral connector and connects in contactor a2 terminal directly okay so neutral connects directly in contactor a2 terminal now how to connect a phase wiring let's learn first see in drawing okay you can see here phase wire first connect in overload relay nc point and connect a stop push button nc element and connect a no push button and when a no push button press contactor will operate okay because phase connect with push button and neutral connects directly okay you can see here first we done this control wiring practically okay first we connect phase wire in this control mcb and connect it to overload relay nc point 95 number point and 96 number point we connect one connector and connect this connector to stop push button and c element okay so we connect to this connector stop push button nc element and output of nc element connects in start push button no element okay now when this start push button press so contactor should run so we connect stop push button no element output in contactor a1 coil okay now let's see how it works when you press start push button your contactor run manually okay when you press start push button your contactor run manually now learn how to provide holding supply and when limit switch operate your motor starter should stop okay but first learn how to connect a holding supply in this motor starter so for holding supply first we connect one connector in contactor a one coil to contactor n o point okay as we always do holding supply okay so first we connect one connector in contactor coil a one terminal to contactor n o terminal okay you can see here we connect contactor coil in n o terminal and holding supply takes from a stop push button nc element output terminal and connect to this holding supply to limit switch nc point and limit switch nc output connect in contactor n o terminal input terminal okay now let's see first limit switch you can see here this is limit switch in this limit switch we have one no point and one nc point we need to use limit switch nc point you can see here this is limit switch nc point when limit switch will operate nc makes no and our holding supply will cut okay so for holding supply first we take one connector to stop push button nc element you can also take holding supply from no element input terminal and give this holding supply 
to limit switch nc input and output of this limit switch nc point connects in contactor n o point okay you can see here now when contactor will op so contactor n o makes nc and our starter will hold because in limit switch we use nc point so supply comes directly okay when limit switch will operate so this holding supply will cut okay now our control wiring is now done at for cooling fan connection we connect a phase and neutral and contactor l1 and l2 terminal and for load connection we connect a supply from overload relay output okay now we start control mcb when you press start push button your motor starter run permanently okay you can see here if you want to stop with this push button so you can stop normally okay now when you press start push button and limit switch will operate so your motor starter will stop okay because holding supply is at that point how our motor will cross this limit switch so you can run your motor starter manually okay when you press the start push button your motor run manually and when limit switch cross so your motor run properly okay you can start and stop your motor with push button and when limit switch will operate so your motor starter will stop hope you clear the concept of this motor starter by this control wiring you can start your motor starter with push button and when limit switch will operate so your motor starter will stop hope you clear the concept if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching